Okay, so this is just a kind of a checkup, status check on where we stand with our grain elevator. Like I said before, I take my time with my modeling because uh, it's quarantine. I've been more busy than ever since I work remotely, but uh, it's not completely put together. But I'm, you can see, I've got the the look of the grain elevator going on. I don't have any of the windows in there. But if you look real close, you'll see the textures, and it looks like concrete. So, so I can tell you how I've done, how, how I do this. Many of you have seen my other tutorials before. This is really just a tutorial of showing how I'm building things, how I take my time. I'm not going to show everything I do, but I, I'll try as much as I can. So what you see here, this is salt. And what I do is I paint my models like a brown color and then I'll sprinkle salt on them and when the salt is done um, when I here's how I do it actually I spritz water on it like just take water spritz on it after the after it's you know I put a clear coat on it put salt on there let that dry overnight come back that salt is caked on then I spray the color I want and what happens is uh, that salt, the next day you can actually wipe that salt off with your thumb or, or a toothbrush, but do it lightly. And it gives you a nice uh, rustic look. This is, this is the roof to the other side of my um, grain elevator. It's going to go right there. It's going to be kind of a rustic roof. It looks like it's got some hail damage. It's just been there a long time. Um, there's the building piece of it. Anybody who's seen my tutorials, uh, you know how I do my brick effects. This is not done yet. I've sprayed with a uh, clear coat and our next is to make those look like bricks. Go see my tutorial. You'll see how I do that on YouTube. There's some more models. So I sprayed this kind of a gray, silver, brown. And what happened is I put salt on there. And then it crumbles off when you wipe it off and take a, take a look how that looks. See? So we'll put that together. You can actually disassemble those and take them up from these and assemble them and do the same thing. Um, so let's take a look at what we did here. If you look on top of the roof of our building, you see it's kind of got a, like a faded effect. I did that with my handheld airbrush kit, which I purchased. What's funny about this is I purchased this and then I started getting all these um, emails about makeup and it's, it's not a makeup kit it's a airbrush handheld airbrush kit barbers use those too to give those perfect hairlines that's it's not what I use it for um, let's see what else oh yeah there's the horizontal lines so what I did there with that was I took um, just a testers concrete effect and what you do is you make a horizontal line, just different lines, all the way down, okay? And then they'll show up. And what you do before it dries, you'll take a paper towel and you'll dab it, okay? You'll just kind of dab it. And what, when you do that dabbing, it does a nice little blending effect. Then I came back and went with my, another tester's effect model, which is for, um, it is like a... Uh, roof brown take that and um, you put little dots and then you smear it with your finger so these are areas where the um, roof pieces are going to go like the metal pieces from here okay and so you can see I kind of did some premeditation there where that's going to go I might go back with the airbrush and kind of fade that in looks like it's been resting for some time again you can look at the concrete effect you can see a little cracking there so I put that in there on purpose and so that's where we stand so here's what I've used these are all the items I've used of course so you've got my spray bottle where you spray um, and then you pour the salt on there let that dry got the testers clear coat you have the airbrushing paint effects so I use that kind of like a wash what you do with that is after you've done your horizontal lines you take your airbrush and you spray up near the top okay up near the top 
and then you wipe it down with a wet rag. All right, you wipe that down in a vertical fashion. Okay, but that's after you've already put in your horizontal lines, so it'll give it a look of a like a um, like a real grain tower. Um, this is a mix right here. This is airbrush. It's a lot really thin. Um, this, of course, I use it for everything. Um, for rustic brown, I actually took that and put some dots in to give a little more effect for a weathered roof. Um, let's take a look at this. There's some more salt detail. You see how this I whittled away the salt looks like a rusted section on that door. I'll probably take a little airbrush the edges on that. And here was one of the key ingredients where I used um, this was for I did I did for the concrete of the grain elevator. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff can mess you up real fast. So you got to be very careful. But when you spray, you got to do it in a circular motion pretty quick because it cakes up fast and it will run. So before you spray anything on your models, you want to make sure you get a good clear coat. Okay? Clear coat everything. Because that's the only mistake I made on this one. I didn't clear coat the building piece. And um, as funny as my nine-year-old son reminded me of that because he saw it running. So we had to do this one. This was a second attempt. Had to wipe it off and everything. But as you see, if you look real close, it's really got a good effect. Okay? Really good grain pattern going on there. So it looks like concrete. Looks pretty pretty awesome. So we're going to do a lot to this. Um, it's going to look really good on the layout. I've done some things of sizing it up, but I just want to show everyone where we stand. I haven't put the roof all pieces together because there's some, a surprise I'm going to put up here for everybody to see, but I'm not going to let everybody know what that surprise is until I'm finished. I got to get a like a, a router drill bit that's one eighth diameter and make about a half inch line. So that's about it. Again, take a look at this grain elevator and it's coming along pretty good. We'll check back with y'all. Bye.